There you go. Come on. Get your blanket down there. Heater running. Come on up, puppy. You waking up? Huh? Oh. Wanna come up? Come on. There you go. Oh, no circles. I'm just going to lay right down. Okay. What? I hear you grumbling. What are you doing? Are you wrapped up? Are you wrapped up around the truck? Okay. Come on this way. Come on, round this way. Come on, come on. Hey, come on around this way. Come on, come on, pup. Come on this way. There you go. Okay. Such a nice morning. Oh, that sun feels so good. Oh, it's gonna be warmer today. I can tell. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's a boy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. That's a big boy. Looking out over his living room here. everyone good morning uh, it's gonna be nicer today it has been uh, really cold spring you know still running the heater it went down to about 28 last night so we're still very chilly but it's supposed to get up in the low 60s today I just checked the weather and man I'm looking forward to that I was just uh, emailing with mom back in New York and she's like, why don't you just come on back here? The weather's good here. And I think she saw the last video there where we were walking in the snow. Oh, you just gotta hold on, buddy. I gotta have my coffee. You can have coffee if you want. He likes to smell it, but he doesn't taste it. Rightfully so, caffeine is not good for dogs. But mom said, just come on back here, the weather's good. Well, I looked at their weather and the next three, four days, they've got snow rain mix in the forecast. So mom, not so great, but I think she's just worried for us being out here with poor weather, you know. Okay. You, you really echo here when you do that. It's very loud. And there is a camper. Someone showed up yesterday. <coughs> Way over there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, let's go have coffee. Come on. We've got two guys, different guys, that stopped by to visit us yesterday afternoon and they're both one's camped over there and one's camped over here and they both got puppies lefty got to do his evening walk with one of them yesterday as soon as i put on the coffee he knows it's about time because coffee's the last thing i do before we gear up and head out that's when he starts busting my <laughs> busting my jobs to hustle up I have a pretty extended wake-up process in the morning. It takes me a few hours to get up and going. Keep pushing on. Are you sliding off the bed? 
Come on, sit up. Here you go. Okay, right here. There you go. One. Two. Oh my goodness, you just, oh, I didn't clip up the leash. David. <laughs> Come on outside. Come on. Come on. Go ahead, go pee pee. Come on, dude. Get on out there, go pee pee. Come on. Is that your puppy friend? Huh? Yeah. Mm. There she is, right over there. Are you taking advantage of that sunbeam? That's a yes. You know I gotta get my boots on. Change my clothes. Get my sunglasses. Not the slipper. Get my keys. My phone. Dude. Come on. Let's go. Ah. Throw the fan on. Suck that out of here. In fact, today, I've got to clean the fan. So periodically I take this screen down and get it all cleaned and spray degreaser on it and all that and clean it real good. And then I wipe down the fan blades and the whole assembly really. I don't have to do it super frequently, but um, it's due. We're definitely due for a fan cleaning. You ready to go? Okay. All right, you ready for this fleet find? So I'm guessing maybe that's the hole and you sit that over it and come out and do your morning work. I, I've seen worse. That's, <laughs> that's just laying here. That's obviously somebody comes to this camp a lot because look over here. Come on. Look at the firewood pile that someone has stacked over here. And this is an awesome fire ring. This is like easily six feet across. And uh, they got some stump seats here. And look at this firewood. Really nice. So I'm guessing somebody comes to this area to camp quite often. They got heat. They can cook, and they can dump out when they're done right over there. I would have put that farther away from the camp myself, but to each his own. Probably going to have to... It's going to be a tough crank on the old 7.3 this morning after that nighttime. I'll tell you. Hey, 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 hey. Walk with me. i got to replace the block heater. Uh, when I got the truck, the block heater was, the plug on it showed signs of burning, like it shorted out, and they still had it plugged in. Um, so I've never used it because of that. So I want to replace, I don't really think it's a difficult job to replace the block heater. Uh, I just need to get my eyes on it. I haven't got down there and looked at it. I know it's just uh, attached into the block so it should be pretty simple. Uh, if anyone has any tips on doing a 7.3 block heater replacement let me know. I'd love to hear it. Anything that might save me saying bad words and <laughs> losing more hair. <laughs> 
I'd appreciate it. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's got a muffler. Oh, it's an exhaust pipe. It's got a muffler clamp and then some bailing wire. Look how small it is, though. I don't know what that's off of, but man, that is tiny. Very small. Must be like a four cylinder. want to carry a collapsible broom this is a three-piece that threads together it's made by O Cedar I'm sure you've heard of that name before isn't there a jingle O Cedar I can't think of what it is if you know the jingle put it in the comments for O Cedar I got this on Amazon I'll put a link down in the description this thing is awesome it has allowed me to keep the rig so much cleaner. It's got really firm bristles, but not too firm. So it, it makes quick work of heavy dirt areas like this, but I also sweep the floor inside like all the time with this. Before I was down on my hands and knees with the little hand broom. <laughs> this, is, this is the ticket right here and I, I just leave it kind of over in the corner inside. I don't, I don't have to break it down. I've got room to store it like this. Get one of these if you want to sweep your rig out. Just came back from our morning walk. Uh, one of my friends, he took off. He might have just gone to get some food or something and my other friend over here, he's driven off. His trailer is there, so he drove off in his pickup truck. Food, maybe, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, both of these gentlemen I just met for the first time yesterday. And it's really interesting that I meet these guys, don't know them from Adam, you know, and we immediately can converse like we've known each other for a long time. So I think they, you know, they watch the videos they see, you know, me and the knucklehead over there and it resonates with them. I'm thinking that this is a person I can talk to and sure enough, they show up and we talk like, you know, old friends basically. That's what it feels like. It's an amazing thing that we can pull into a place like this up in the mountains, never been here before, set up our camp and within several days, a couple of people come to visit us. That's pretty cool. I think they all come just to see him. I just happen to be the caretaker. Wah, wah, wah. Right? Uh, dude. What you doing? You massaging your back on that stick? Ah! <laughs> oh, finally a day that's warm enough to lay outside, huh? I know. Ow. Does that feel good? That sun on your belly? Ah. Does that feel good? That's a boy. Shake it off. There you go. What are you doing? 
you bring that stick in here? Hmm? Look at the mess you made. Okay. Goodness. Daddy's got to clean. It's okay. It's okay. I can clean. We're stuck inside on a windy, windy day. Now, the wind here has never been a problem. It blows up in the trees, but it doesn't blow on the ground. But today, for whatever reason, I think it's coming from a different direction across the meadow. So it's hitting us on the ground. And every once in a while, all this dust goes blowing up. And wouldn't you know it, today is the warmest day we've had so far. So it's been getting warm in here. I've been periodically opening the window so that we could get a little break and some fresh air, but I don't want to leave it open all the time because we're going to get a mouthful of dust. So I've been on the computer for over four hours and uh, he's been in here just hanging out and chewing a stick. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming along on this quick walk this morning. I hope you're all having a great spring. Really looking forward to our trip back to New York. Spring there, you know, May and June is so nice everything is just so green and lush and the temperatures aren't crazy warm and humid yet it's just a great time of the year there i'm really looking forward to it stop putting the brakes on oh there's one of your holes huh hey you already you already drilled that one for everything it was worth it's tapped out You want to go get some grass? Uh, you want to go out here and get some grass? Come on. Thanks everyone for being here and spending time with us. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon.